Hey, candy girl. Oh, sweetheart. Um, I think everybody goes through something like this. Um, if you go back to some of my videos before surgery, you know, it's like, you know, am I getting ready to do the right thing for myself? You know, am, am I going to regret doing this in the long run? And for me, yeah, I might have thought about it, but I still went through with it. And I can't even begin to tell you how much I should have done this years ago. Um, just like you with the, dia the diabetes and stuff, um, I had diabetes with both of my kids and I had to take insulin for both of them. And with my last son, um, I gained like 50, 60 pounds because, because of the amount of insulin I was having to take. Um, so I, I understand that. I really, really do. And it sucks. Um, a nice little bright spot you know I am almost three months out of surgery now and you know I test my blood sugar and it's rare right after within a you know 30 minutes to an hour after eating it's rare if my blood sugar goes above 124 um, unless I'm drinking like some juice or some things I drink a little bit of pomegranate juice to get my uh, liquid multivitamin down um, but that's really, really, the surgery has really, really helped. Um, like one of your other posters, I think she just left a, um, a typed message. Um, she's, she's got dumping. I have the dumping syndrome. It happens to one in six to seven patients who get the sleeve surgery. So, you know, <laughs> I know all about that carb monster girlfriend. I do. I understand completely. Um, and because of that dumping, <laughs> I stay as far away from carbohydrates as I can. Um, I've tried eating fruit just a couple of times, and yeah, it hasn't been pretty. Um, but hang in there. Um, you are in the right mindset because you are trying to make yourself healthier. And yeah, you might be doing it for your kids and for your family, but you have to really do it for yourself. Yourself has to come first with this. And I think your mind is in the right place. I mean, if you weren't going stir crazy and thinking, oh my God, what the hell, um, I might be a little worried about you. Um, but for me, yeah, right after surgery, I did get a little bit of energy. And as I started adding food back and stuff, the energy did start picking up a little bit. Um, it's different for everybody, but don't set yourself up for failure up here and in here. You know, don't do that to yourself. Um, you're already doing the right things. You're already working out. You're, you're kind of watching what you're eating. You're, you're, you've already signed up for surgery. So you, you've already done most of the things. Now you just need to kind of keep your head in the game. So just keep thinking I'm doing this for myself I'm doing this so I can feel better and so I can be healthier and you won't regret it um, yeah things can go wrong in surgery you know <laughs> been there done that um, but wow I wouldn't I wouldn't change it other than I would have done it a long time ago um, so hang in there girl hang in there you know, we're all here to support you, and I can't tell you how grateful I am to have, like, you and, you know, Pita Girl and Stacy and Rose and Mr. Derwin and everybody else that, you know, I've been watching and they've been responding to my videos and stuff um, because it helps. It's therapy. You know, I don't go to group support sessions through my doctor's office just because... Um, I'd have to drag my two children with me and having a two and a half year old and a one year old um, in an hour to two hour long meeting yeah that's not gonna happen so I come on here for my therapy and I think it works really really good for me um, just hang in there if I could get in my car or get on a plane and come back and come back home <laughs> Um, back home to the desert girl to give you a hug or to lift you up when you needed it I would so here's me reaching through the screen and lifting you up 
So hang in there, keep your chin up, and feelings like this are normal. And trust me, you will do almost a complete 180 after surgery, and you start seeing the pounds come off, and you start seeing, I mean, I'm watching my clothes fall off, for crying out loud. And um, I think it's great. My husband, however, doesn't think it's so great because that means I have to go shopping for new clothes. Yeah. Um, I mean, hell, even my feet are getting smaller, for Christ's sake. Um, so keep your chin up. I mean, if, you know, I've been in therapy. Um, I had an anger management problem when I was younger, and it did do me a lot of good. And there's no shame in needing help. Um, there's no shame in it at all. Uh, I will actually be going back into therapy. As a matter of fact, I will be going back to the psychologist that I saw to get my psych clearance to actually have surgery. Um, because a few days ago, I myself had a complete and utter nervous breakdown. I mean, I completely lost it. I put both of my, my boys to bed for the night, and I completely lost it. And I have reached my low. I have reached rock bottom. And now it's time to make me better um, for myself before I have to make myself better for myself before I can make myself better for anyone else. Um, I have put off taking care of myself for so long. And, you know, you're a mom. You understand that. And I bet you other people that are going to watch this video understand that, that are parents. You know, yourself comes last after you get married and start having kids. I mean, whether you're male or female. And, unfortunately, that does take a toll. I mean, it took a serious toll on me. And now I'm having to be a little bit selfish and take care of myself because I'm no good to my kids a blithering mess so you know if, if you feel that you need to talk to somebody about it you know talk to us here um, give me a call <laughs> um, go seek um, some some therapy a counselor if you need to um, I understand not wanting to burden your spouse with all your problems um, the sad thing for me is my husband has a degree in psychology and sociology so you know, he's like, I can take it, I can take it. I'm like, yeah, but then it stresses you out, and then it stresses us out, and then the kids feel us being stressed out, and it's just no good for nobody. So maybe you need to find somebody else to talk to. So look for a counselor. Um, I don't know if you've already done your psych eval, um, if you liked the person, if you did do your psych eval. Um, I loved mine, so I'll be going back to him. And, you know, I need to get my head on straight. Um... Is it affecting my weight loss? I think just a tad bit. I'm not losing as much weight as I would hope, but you know. But I haven't lost. I haven't lost the faith in myself. So, Candy Girl, don't lose faith in yourself, regardless. Okay, just keep your chin up. You have all of us here supporting you and rooting you on. And if I have to, and you know I will, because I'm a California girl just like you from the desert, from the Mojave, just like you, and you know I will get in my car, I will drive down the road, and I will come over there, and I will shake you by the shoulders and slap you around and kick you in the butt if you need it. Because I love you. So, keep yourself, keep yourself healthy, and make sure that you know you keep everything up here and in here right on track and girl you'll get on the losers bench and it'll just be like hallelujah it really will and i'm rooting for you and everybody else is too uh connor come here come here sweetheart come here and if this doesn't make you feel better girl i don't know what does come here Say hi, Candy. Hey. Say hi. Wave with your hand. Wave with your hand. Come on, you can do it. Say hi. <laughs> can you blow a kiss? Say I love you. Mwah. We love you. We're rooting for you. Oh my gosh. Oh my We're rooting for you, girl. So keep your chin up. Keep your chin up, girl. And if I have to, like I said, I will get in the car and I will drive all the way back out to the Mojave. And yeah, I don't think I need to yeah. answer the rest of that because you know exactly what yeah. I do to you. So keep your chin up, girl. Keep your chin up.